Hey, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa, and in a series of videos, I'm going to be clearing up another green pool. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this is a friend's pool. Um, I go to church with him as well, and it's early part of May, and he didn't run the filter uh, all winter. So it's been off for about maybe seven months or so. So what I'm going to do is take a take a walk over here um, I went ahead and vacuumed a little bit uh, just to remove some of the dirt and debris off the bottom of the pool but I want to show you what the difference was if you can see all that that is what the entire pool was covered with um, it's a really really th thick blanket of debris and algae and as you can see steps they are really really bad so this pool is really going to be a project for me but just like the other one it will get crystal clear so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the readings that I got it as well okay so I'm in my van uh, I forgot the readings in here but these are the readings obviously the chlorine is zero combined chlorine is 0 0.2 pH is through the roof at 8.0 alkalinity was at 30 uh, calcium hardness at 300 and this is the big thing the cyanuric acid he had no cyanuric acid in the pool and unlike the other pool that I cleared up that had a cyanuric acid of a hundred um, I had to do a two-thirds journey refill but with this particular pool I'm not going to um, uh, drain the water what we're gonna do is something very simple I'm going to get dichlorochlorine uh, the pool owner's name is Marco and he's gonna help me out with this so let's go ahead and take a look at the system he has a DE filter um, with multi-port valve right there he has a salt system and the backwash hose goes right out to the fence Okay, so uh, I alluded to kind of a little bit what we're going to be doing. Uh, the first thing that I did was I vacuumed to waste because there was so much dirt and debris in the bottom of the pool. The reason that I did that is because uh, what would happen is if I vacuum the filter, all of that stuff is going to go into the filter. It's going to clog it up very, very quickly. Vacuuming to waste is a very good way to just get that algae out of the pool. Um, I did put... Uh, uh, the water hose in the pool because being that it's vacuuming to waste uh, the water level is going to drop very quickly uh, so that's the very first thing that I did before I did anything any kind of chemicals or anything I want to get as much dirt and debris out of the pool as I can um, the second thing that I'm going to do is um, put some acid in the pool because I have to get that pH down from 8.4 to maybe around 7.0 to 7.2 because uh, the chlorine is going to be more effective at a slightly lower pH. And then the third thing that we're going to do is shock the pool with dichlor, being that there was no cyanuric acid in the pool. So um, th this is a uh, I guess about a 15, yeah, about a 15,000 gallon pool. Um, I went ahead and measured that out, and uh, I'm going to put in three pounds of dichlor, and I'm going to allow it to filter for about, um, uh, you know, about 10 hours or so, and then retest. Well, first I'm going to do the acid, uh, and then about two, three hours later, we're going to go ahead and shock with dichlor, and then I'm going to retest everything, the chlorine and the cyanuric acid. I want to get that cyanuric, cyanuric acid to around 30, and then once... <clears throat> Uh, I hit the 30 parts per million mark with the stabilizer. I'm going to go ahead and shock with chlorine. So we'll just see how it goes. I think day two or three, um, Marco went ahead and shocked with uh, three pounds of dichlor and he put a quart of acid in the pool. Um, again, the reason for the dichlor is because there was no cyanuric acid in there. So uh, it is clearing up pretty well. And I'm just going to go ahead and sweep and take the readings and we'll go from there. So I took the readings and uh, just kind of what I expected. The chlorine was down to zero. Uh, the pH came down from about 8.4 to 7.4. Uh, I told him to put a 
quarter of acid in there. Didn't touch the alkalinity at all. And I'm going to have to shock it again, obviously, with uh, liquid chlorine, but I'm also going to use some more dichlor because he put, I thought he put two bags or three bags in. He only put two bags in and it raised it just a little bit, but it's really not too much. So I'm going to have him add about four more bags of dichlor. I want to get that to around 30 parts per million. Range is supposed to be 30 to 50. But you can see, hopefully you can see this. This is what I've been doing is... If you can see, that's the uh, algae that's on the side. And all I've been doing is just taking a brush and going all around the pool, getting the bottom and sides, scrubbing that very, very well. Now, this is a vinyl pool, so I'm not using uh, uh, a wire brush. I'm just using a normal uh, nylon brush. That's what I was trying to think of. A normal nylon brush, you never want to use a st uh, steel brush on a vinyl pool. So that's about it, and see so as you can see that right there as well, that's where I stopped. That's what it looks like now. I still have that more to go. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and shock the pool again with liquid chlorine and with dichlor.